In this video, I'm going to tell you about my experiences with three refurbished hockey sticks I purchased from HockeyStickMan.com. I'll share what refurbished hockey sticks are, what sticks I bought, and how much I paid for each one, some really cool things about refurbished hockey sticks, how long they lasted for me, and are they worth the money. There's also a little twist near the end of this video you don't want to miss that may influence your decision to purchase a refurbished hockey stick or not. Now, I love great quality hockey sticks, but as a barely hockey player I'm not one to pay two three probably close to four hundred dollars nowadays for a new hockey stick if you've seen my other hockey stick videos you'll know that I've been using refurbished and pro blackout sticks in the past couple years or so I love great gear on a budget so what are refurbished hockey sticks refurbished hockey sticks from hockey stick man are senior size high quality name brand sticks that have been used and broken at the pro level but in otherwise excellent condition the sticks they use for refurbs were broken at the shaft and then repaired. Hockey Stick Man indicates the flex and kick point are not affected by the repairs. There's a bunch of details about the refurbs and repair process on the Hockey Stick Man website. I put a link in the video description below to the Hockey Stick Man refurbished stick page if you'd like to learn more. So let's take a look at the sticks I purchased. Can you handle this? My first refurb stick purchase was a Bauer Nexus 2N Pro. I purchased a stick in July 2021 and paid $93.97. That's US dollars. This was a total out of door price with everything included. The order had a small wood stick extension for like $350 and I also used an online first time buyer coupon for $10. Shipping was $20. And a quick note, this stick brand new at the time went for about $200. So in general, refurbs are about half the price of new sticks. Let's talk about the cool factor of these refurbs. So this Bauer 2N Pro actually was dressed as a Geo. What that means is the stick was painted as a Geo, but actually a 2N Pro build. Here's my actual stick, and as you can see, it looks like a Geo, but the fine print on the shaft indicates it's a 2N Pro. The reason some sticks are dressed may be just player preference. There's more info on the Hockey Stick Man website about this on their FAQ page. I have a link to the FAQ page in the description below if you'd like to learn more on dressings. Another cool thing about these refurb sticks is some have player names on them. Of the sticks I've received so far, all have had names. According to Hockey Stick Man, the refurbished sticks were used by pro-level hockey players from NHL and other minor league pro teams. Hockey Stick Man doesn't advertise player names on the sticks they sell, but it's interesting to look up player names when you receive your stick. Here's the name on my Bauer Nexus 2N Pro. St. Ivany. I think this was John St. Ivany's stick. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but currently he's an AHL player, shoots right, 6'3", defenseman. Seems to be a stick he could have used. I'm not 100% sure and didn't spend a lot of time researching, but it's interesting to look at who may have been the original owner and actually used the stick. Here's the repair point on this stick. It's a little bit lower than halfway down the shaft, and as you can see, the graphics don't exactly match up. This makes no difference to me. Unfortunately, this stick broke. <laughs> It busted during a hockey tournament in April 2022 at the lower part of the shaft. I got approximately 10 months use out of this stick. I used it on average three times a week in barely games and one tournament, so quite a bit. Looking back, this was definitely my favorite stick based on the feel and my shooting style, taking mostly slap and snapshots. The second refurbished stick I purchased was a CCM Super Tax AS3 Pro. I purchased a stick in January 2022 and paid $109.98. This again was a total out of the door price. <laughs> The stick was $89.99 and shipping was $19.99. This hockey stick has the name Kandata on it, and it appears to be the stick of Lucas Kandata. On the UMass website, everything seems to match up as far as stick type. He's 6'2", 209 pounds. However, he's a lefty, and this is a righty stick. Maybe he ordered it, they sent the wrong stick, and he lent it to a buddy. Who knows, the mystery remains. Could have been another Kandata. 
The repair point on this stick, like the first one, is a little bit lower than halfway down the stick. This stick broke on me in October of 2022 at the bottom of the blade. Similar to stick one, the Bauer, I got approximately 10 months use out of this stick. However, I use this stick I'd say on average one or two times a week in bear league games. I'd rotate it with another stick I had, which is stick number three coming up. So in comparison to the Bauer Nexus 2N Pro that I used two to three times a week, this stick definitely didn't last as many games. The third refurb stick I purchased was a CCM Jetspeed FT4 Pro. I purchased this stick in February 2022, so about one month after refurb stick number two, and paid $119.98. This was a total out of the door price. The stick was $99.99 and the shipping was $19.99. This hockey stick had the name McKinnon on it. Hmm. Nathan McKinnon? No clue. I couldn't find any other McKinnons with that same spelling in my five minutes of research. And I think McKinnon uses CCM ripcord triggers, so who knows? Maybe it tested out some jet speed. I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on. The repair point on this stick is the lower portion of the shaft. This stick broke on me in November 2022, right in the middle of the blade. Again, eerily similar to sticks number one and two, I got approximately 10 months use out of this stick. And comparable to stick number two, I use this stick about one or two times a week in barely games, rotating it with stick number two. An important thing I like to share is I tend to be somewhat hard on my hockey sticks. I take a lot of slap shots and warm ups in games and as a defenseman I probably do more than your usual stick work just defending and battles in front of the net. And we do have some Paul Bunyans in our hockey leagues that don't help either. Just constantly whacking away on my sticks. So with that it's certainly possible my sticks could have lasted longer if I wasn't so hard on them. I know some guys who never take slap shots and take wristers all the time and it seems like their sticks last forever. Those are the guys that typically take one stick to their games. I always have two. In comparing the three sticks obviously stick number one the Bauer Nexus 2N Pro lasted the longest for me in that I got the most games out of it even though they all lasted around 10 months in essence it lasted twice as long as sticks two and three I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I'd have a little twist so here it is You may be thinking after purchasing three refurbished hockey sticks and having them all break in 10 months that I'd be done with them as they all broke within a short period of time. For me, that's not the case at all. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I love great gear on a budget at the lower price points. After my third refurbished hockey stick broke, I purchased a brand new Pro Blackout stick from Hockey Stick Man, which was actually a bit more expensive than the refurb, about $20 to $30 more. I've been using the Pro Blackout for several months, and what I found for me me at least is the Pro Blackouts are great budget friendly brand new sticks but in comparison to the name brand Refurb the Pro Blackouts just don't have that quality feel to them. It's a little hard to explain unless you try and compare them yourself, but by feel, I mean the blades specifically. When I use the Pro Blackout stick the puck just seems to explode off the blade. I feel it especially when receiving a hard pass. The blade on my Pro Blackout just feels like a concrete wall that took a while to get used to. The name brand refurbs I've used, they just have an overall better and higher quality feel to them. They're more forgiving, the blade especially, and just overall better quality. So with that, I bring you refurbished stick number four, a CCM SuperTax AS4 Pro. This fourth refurb was actually supposed to be a Bauer Nexus 2N Pro as that was my favorite stick and was excited about getting another one but unfortunately after submitting my online order was later told that it was sold in the store so that can happen this as4 pro was my second choice so we'll see how this one works out i purchased the stick in late january 2023 and paid $109.98 this again was the total out of the door price the stick was $89.99 and the shipping was $19.99 this hockey stick has the name diadi on it it may be the stick of Michael Diotti, not sure of the pronunciation there, but seems to potentially fit as he's a righty about 200 pounds and tall at 6'3". 
The repair point on this stick is in the middle portion of the shaft. Although I purchased this stick in late January 2023, I've not used the stick on the ice yet. I wanted to get this on video to show the exact condition of the stick on how I received it. This was recorded in March 2023. So here it is. As you can see, this is in very good condition from the shaft to the blade. It obviously has some nicks and scratches, but looks really good. The stick was delivered with bubble wrap around the blade and just plastic covering the stick. I refurbished hockey sticks worth the money. So to answer this question, I guess it really depends on your point of view. To me, it's worth it in that I'm getting a great performing name brand stick at about half the price of a new stick and comparing them to pro blackouts, I'll go refurb all day long. Now, if I find that the refurbs continue to break faster than expected, I may change my tune. Only time will tell. I'll make sure I provide some type of update on my channel of when my AS4 Pro breaks. So please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Hopefully the AS4 will last longer than 10 months. Either way, I'll let you know. Here's a few other things to note about the refurbished sticks at Hockey Stick Man. Sometimes they have a very limited supply, especially for the righties. They do have a 30 day guarantee on the repaired portion of the stick. And to date, I've never had an issue with the repairs. Hockey Stick Man has always been great in my experience answering any question. If you're aware of other sources for quality refurbished hockey sticks, would really appreciate your thoughts in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about hockey stick refurbs, pro blackouts, or what hockey stick kick point is to help you find the perfect hockey stick for your shooting style, please check out the other long videos on my channel. And check out my shorts if you just like to be entertained and have fun. All things hockey. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay junky, my friends.